Hey there fellow avgeeks, welcome to the world of Nocturnal Simulations. I'm Michael, and today I'm excited to share my top 5 freeware mods for the third quarter of 2023. I know, I know, I'm a bit late, but hey, life's a bit of a whirlwind, right? I've tested these gems thoroughly, and trust me, they are top notch. Sure to amp up your enjoyment and realism in the sim. So settle in and get ready for a quick tour of these game changing mods. All of these mods are winners in my book, so there's no ranking here. With that being said, let's jump right in. First up, and this should surely come as no surprise to anyone, is the TBM 850 from Black Square. Featured in many of my recent streams, myself and others within the community have accrued hundreds of hours flying this wonderful aircraft, and even a few hilarious accidents. By the way, don't ask Mike about the mountains near Aspen, think he's still a little sore about that. Diving into the thrilling world of virtual aviation with Black Square's TBM 850 for Microsoft Flight Simulator is wonderful. The only thing more advanced than the aircraft is the number of ways it can fail. With almost 100 failure scenarios, including those inspired by your favorite YouTube aviation mishaps, you can experience everything from a sputtering engine to a rebellious propeller governor. It's like Murphy's Law took flight lessons. In this simulation, every knob, dial, and gauge is a carbon copy of the real thing. Thanks to Black Square's obsessive devotion to real-world manuals, if it's in their aircraft, it exists somewhere out there in the skies. Classic navigation tickle your fancy? The radio navigation systems span several eras, from the vintage charm of the Bendix KNS-80 RNAV to the high-tech Garmin GTN 750. You'll be swamped with choices, including all sorts of radio gizmos like the EFS-40, EADI and EHSI, KX-155, NAV and COM, and even a weather radar that might actually predict the weather. But no promises, of course, who gets the weather right? The hefty 100 plus page manual is your trusty co-pilot, guiding you through every gadget and gizmo. While the included 55 in-game checklists light up controls and instruments like a Christmas tree during emergencies. Challenge yourself with a panel that's more analog than a vinyl record collection. Flying IFR to minimums without GPS is like doing a tightrope walk without a net. Absolutely thrilling. Skill building and slightly terrifying. Remember, don't ask Mike. Plus, you might actually see the instruments better on your pixelated challenge monitor and in VR. It's like stepping back into a simpler, more pixelated era of flying. Alrighty, brace yourselves for the next game-changing gadget in our virtual hangar. The Aircraft Manager from Sonic Fizz. This tool is so slick and handy, it's a wonder a Sobo didn't think of it first. It's like the Swiss Army knife for your digital aircraft fleet, only cooler. Gone are the days of scrolling through an endless lineup of aircraft, feeling like you're hunting for that elusive last jelly roll in a dessert buffet. With Aircraft Manager, you can curate a VIP list of your favorite airplanes, making aircraft selection as easy as picking your favorite Netflix show. And for the serial livery users out there, you know who you are. This mod remembers your last choice. So if you're flying the digital skies for a virtual airline and always pick the same livery, this tool is your new best friend. It's like the mod knows you better than you know yourself. But here's the real kicker, control preset management. Every plane you have gets its own custom control setup. Walk planes and voila, your controls are just like magic. It's like having a personal butler for each of your aircraft, ensuring everything is just the way you like it. And for the ultra detail oriented pilots, there's a note feature. Yes, now you can jot down all those nitty gritty details about each plane. Paired with the fancy filtering features, you can find the perfect bird for your mission with the precision of a mission control analyst. This tool isn't just a game changer, it's a flight plan for perfection. Moving on to number three. Get ready to take your virtual flying to new heights with Sky Dolly, the nifty standalone app that turns Microsoft Flight Simulator into your personal movie studio. It's like having a GoPro for your virtual plane, only way cooler. Sky Dolly lets you record and replay your flights, but here's the twist. You can play back previously recorded flights while recording a new one. It's like cloning yourself to create your own air show. Want to fly information with the with yourself? Sky Dolly says a no problem. Talk about some epic shots. The app is smart enough to record at very simple rates. From a chilled 1 hertz to an overcaffeinated like yours truly, auto mode. It even uses some fancy math. Cubic Hermite splines for the nerds out there. To make sure your flight path is smoother than a jazz saxophone solo. And how does it capture all this aerial magic? Well, by tapping into the SimConnect API, of course. A classic move from the good old FSX days. But wait, there's more! Sky Dolly is modular, meaning it's like a Swiss Army knife for your flying adventures. Its lean, mean architecture keeps the memory usage lower than a limbo stick at a beach party. Here's a sneak peek at the modules. First up, we have the logbook, 
every flight you make automatically lands in here. It's backed by a SQL database, making your flight history as searchable as a library catalog. Up next, formation has mentioned before. Fancy flying in formation? Control your aircraft positions like a boss. Over 30 aircraft in formation and your sim won't even break a sweat. No, I've definitely not tried to get 100 in the air all at once. Do you think I'm an animal? Location. Beam yourself to any location faster than you can say, Scotty, beam me up. Control engine states, set custom takeoff points, and enjoy 100 preset locations with GPS precision. One more, add your own or control plus Victor any GPS coordinate into the mix. But that's not all. Sky Dolly is a social butterfly with its import and export plugins. Share your flights in a buffet of formats. SD log, CSV, hello Flight Radar 24, IGC, KML, GPX, and even GeoJSON. And for location buffs, CSV imports and exports are a breeze, including formats from Sky Dolly and Little Nap Map. Want to import every point of interest and airport from around the globe? Sky Dolly says, bring it on. So if you're ready to turn your Microsoft Flight Simulator experience into an epic saga of aerial adventures, Sky Dolly is your ticket to the sky with a side of tech wizardry. Moving on to number four, featured in a previous video, let's take a look at Pie Flies Taylor Ranch. So, and I've gotta ask, are you itching for an airstrip where Mayday isn't just something you say on a boat? Love the thrill of dodging trees like you're in some sort of nature-themed video game? Dream of fishing, but only after you've survived a landing? Well, check out the University of Idaho's Taylor Ranch Landing in Moscow. No, not the Russian one. Moscow, Idaho, the capital of not much. However, what it lacks in political importance, it makes up for in 2300 feet of curved, grassy thrill, sitting 3,835 feet above sea level. Forget local METAR data, you'll be using Lemmy County Airport for your barometric fix, whatever that means here. Now, sit tight, my virtual aviators. PyFly has graced us with a digital replica of this private airstrip, but it comes with a little bit of a homework assignment. I've got the download links below, but you're going to need to grab the airport, duh, all Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 World Updates, Emerald Buildings Kit, Miscellaneous Scenery Objects, Vehicles and Vegetation, Bush and Backcountry Library, Windy Things, no, not the burrito-induced kind, Ethnics Building Kit, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Object Library with over 200 plus models, and the Makia.at's Asset Pack. Don't worry, it sounds like a longer list than the reasons you shouldn't fly a 747 into a Bush airport, but it's totally worth it. As for performance, chill, my aspiring pilots. I didn't experience any issues or longer load times, but then again, I do feed my computer hamster premium grade sunflower seeds. You'll find Petro served on a pickup truck platter, a guard dog that's more interested in belly rubs, and even clucking chickens that give you the side eye. And beware the beehives, unless you're in for a honey of a treat and watch out for Bambi's relatives. You spook them and they might just spook you back. Now it's time to settle down for the night next to an Instagram worthy campfire and explore the garage for parts. Or duct tape because let's face it, duct tape fixes everything, even your aviation dreams. You can use the outhouse, fish for your dinner, and sleep under the stars with the soft hum of, well, nothing. It's peaceful, remember? Room for your flying entourage? Oh you betcha. Invite your pals with their dinky planes or even a couple of King Airs. Just tell them to pack their own fishing gear. Once you're ready to leave this pixelated paradise, don't skip on the pre-flight checks. In these valleys, you land in the river or you don't land at all, but the climb out is a photographer's dream, with snow-capped peaks and forests as far as your GPU can render. Last but not least, by any means, is an absolute must for commercial flight sim enthusiast, because Fly Tampa is bringing the heat with one of their masterpieces, Fly Tampa Boston. This isn't just any scenery pack for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's like teleporting straight into the heart of Boston Logan International Airport, but without the hassle of airport security taking you to the back room. Don't ask me how I know about that. First off, the Fly Tampa version of the airport is so fresh you can practically smell the jet fuel. And get this, the PBR materials make the textures look so real. You'll be tempted to touch your screen just to check. But my favorite parts are the custom animated jetways as they move like they're doing a smooth tango with your aircraft and the taxiway lighting is so on point. It's like following the yellow brick road to your runway. Now, let's talk about the terraform terrain and 3D rocks. It's like Fly Tampa waved a magic wand and turned the flat boring ground into a living, breathing landscape. The detailed library objects and handcrafted ground textures are so meticulously done 
that'll make every virtual pilot's heart skip a beat. And for the cherry on the top, animated passengers. That's right, no more ghost airports. These little pixel people bustling around will make you feel like you're really there. Minus the crying babies and the guy who's always hogging the armrest, of course. So, if you're ready to elevate your MSFS experience to stratospheric levels, Fly Tampa Boston is your first class ticket. Just strap in, fire up Microsoft Flight Simulator, and prepare for a scenic joyride through one of America's most iconic airports, all from the comfort of your gaming chair. And there we have it, folks. A huge thanks to every single one of you who stuck around to the end. I would also be thrilled to have you join our community. Just click on the Discord link below and dive into one of our group flights. Plus, if you feel like supporting the channel, consider using the Buy Me A Coffee link or affiliate links below. Your support not only keeps us airborne, but also fuels our supply of top-tier dad jokes and content. Happy flying!